Now to the war in Ukraine. People in eastern Ukraine have been warned to flee. The warning is ahead of a renewed Russian invasion in the region. As CBS News's Natalie Brand explains, Russian forces have been pulled from the north and they're being redirected to the east. U.S. officials say Russia has appointed a new general, Alexander Dvernikov, to lead the war in Ukraine. That same general was in charge in Syria, where Russia is accused of war crimes. Those same brutal tactics, that same disregard uh, for civilian life and civilian infrastructure um, will, will probably continue as they now focus uh, in a more geographically confined area in the Donbass. Russia is reinforcing its troops in eastern Ukraine with satellite images showing an eight-mile-long convoy believed to be headed to the Donbass region. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed concern about the battle in the Donbass and Mariupol with CBS's Scott Pelley on 60 Minutes. What are you expecting now in the east and in the south? We think this will be a new wave of this war. We don't know how much Russian weaponry there will be, but we understand there'll be many times more than there is now. Mariupol's mayor tells the Associated Press more than 10,000 civilians have been killed as the fight rages on. President Biden and India's prime minister discussed the atrocities in Ukraine during a virtual meeting on Monday. The administration is trying to urge India not to increase its imports of Russian energy. The United States and India are going to continue our close consultation on how to manage the destabilizing effects of this Russian war. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says he's spoken several times with Presidents Putin and Zelensky and has appealed for peace and direct talks between the two.